Okay, I'm going to try to break it down to you the best I can without doing like a 30-minute uh, video. So, it looks like Joshua versus Klitschko 2 is happening. Klitschko is already in, you know, like pre-camp, I guess is what you want to call it, whatever the case may be. Um, the issue is, is that the IBF does not want to strip Anthony Joshua because they love Anthony Joshua and he just fought in front of 90,000. Who Brett Pulev, who's the mandatory for the IBF, seems to feel as though, well, wait a minute, I can beat Anthony Joshua, so I don't want to step aside for that rematch. I want to fight him now. You know, and also that marketability factor of Anthony Joshua coming off of a big win um, in front of 90K. You know, so Pulev is set to make a lot of money. You know, if he's the next guy to fight Anthony Joshua. So in a way, I'm wondering, does he really want that belt or does he want to stop Joshua Klitschko too? Because he wants the money instead and he feels that, you know, he can beat Joshua. You know, but he can't beat Klitschko because he already lost to him. So there's some things that I'm thinking. Now, here's the thing. Pulev's promoter, um, uh, Sarlin Promotions, they are very, you know, they have a close relationship with um, Sky Sports in uh, Matchroom who promote um, Anthony Joshua. But Pulev is seeming, though, that he doesn't want to take any step-aside money and he doesn't want to fight for an IBF interim just to let Joshua Klitschko to happen. He seems as though he wants to shot now, which is some hating ass shit. But at the same time, the IBF has been showing some inconsistencies because it's like, well, wait a minute. You stripped Tyson Fury for the same reason. They don't want to strip a guy that's fought in front of 90,000 people. Think about the money. But of course they'll strip Tyson Fury because, you know, that fight went nowhere near as profitable as Anthony Joshua. I'm not, you know, you miss me with the bullshit. So they have another situation at 140 pounds going on. Where they don't, they like because Al Heyman, you know, it has to be Al Heyman because he's the manager, advisor of Sergey Lipinitz, doesn't want Julius Ndongu to fight, to defend his IBF against Terence Crawford because I guess they want that IBF to get their hands on the IBF title first. It's weird, but the IBF is in a situation where, you know, put it this way, I don't want them to strip Anthony Joshua, and. But they have to follow their rules, you know, because if you strip Tyson Fury and he was in the same contract, basically, as far as the rematch clause where he couldn't fight nobody else, but then you're trying to, like, maneuver for Anthony Joshua, why don't you try to maneuver for Tyson Fury, you know? So, you know, it's a, it's, it's a complex situation, but it's all about Kubret Pulev. Now, if Kubret Pulev, you know, says, okay, well, listen, you know, um, they can go ahead and fight, you know, but I want to I want to be guaranteed the winner. But the IBF can say, well, you know, you can fight for the IBF interim, which is kind of like the belt. But at the same time, if they're going to order him to fight somebody, you know, in the top, you know, three or four, whoever that is. So it may be a fight that Kubrick Pulev may not feel confident he could win. So therefore, he would only he would he would not only lose his shot out at the, the at Anthony Joshua beats Klitschko again for that big money, but he'll be losing the money. So I'm looking at it like he probably thinks like, man, I want that shot now, you know, because if Klitschko can do that, then I probably can do that. You know how fighters think. Of course Pulev probably think he can beat Joshua, even though he lost to Klitschko. You know, so I'm sure he'd rather fight Joshua than Klitschko again, you know, not only financially, but he may feel like, oh shit, well, Klitschko let Joshua off the hook in that fifth round, you know? So he may be thinking that way. But it's, 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 it's starting to get a little complex. Um, no date for the fight. Um... There's no negotiations with any other fighters on both parties. And it's looking like the fight may happen in like October. I want uh, September, I don't want to believe September. I say I, I say October. You know? So I'm hyped. I want to see the fight, you know. But one thing for sure is if Klitschko loses, he's done. And if Joshua loses, then you have a trilogy. But then Joshua would have to wait and then have to build him back up again because now you got those mandatory obligations to fulfill. So you got Luis Ortiz, who's the mandatory as far as the WBA is concerned. You got Kubret Pulev, who's the mandatory as far as the IBF. But Kubret Pulev is in first in line behind Luis Ortiz. And Luis Ortiz, his team is trying to start raising some issues with the WBA. It's like, yeah, we won our title shot, but it just don't work like that, you know, especially with the WBA, because the WBA is thinking the same thing. Like, we're not stripping Anthony Joshua. We're gonna get the hell out of here. We need that money, you know. So they could order Luis Ortiz to fight Fresno Quindo. You know, and then it just be, you know, that situation. Shannon Briggs is pretty much out of it. You know, so it's a complex situation all around. But at the same time, as I said, it seems to be in Kubrat Pulev's hands. And I feel where he's coming from, you know. 
even though a lot of people, we all want to see, you know, Joshua versus Klitschko too, you have to think like, well, we always talking about how these organizations be on some bullshit, you know, they like, you know, I feel where they're coming from. You know, so if Anthony Joshua gets stripped, I'm not going to be mad. Why? Because they get it to Tyson Fury, and technically that's what they're supposed to do. If you're going to do it before, then keep doing it. Remember, they did the call front when Cole Frost decided to fight George Groves again. You know, but the thing is, it's like, you know, like, 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 keep up to what you've been doing. Don't make no exceptions for nobody, especially when it comes to the money, because it makes you look bad, you know? So, you know, it looks like Hubert Pulev is like, no, I'm not trying to hear shit from nobody. You know, like, I want my shot next, you know? I want that Anthony Joshua money, you know, I want my shot next. I don't want to fight Klitschko, too. Klitschko wins, I already lost to Klitschko. He'll be that ace, you know, so, I don't know. I'm Teacher Controversy, this is Teacher Controversy Live. I cover every single mission live. Please subscribe.